Hi friends, today we are going to start our first lesson in mathematics uh, that is number system. Now here we are going to learn about decimal number system. You must clear all the topics that we are going to learn in this chapter they belongs to this system that is decimal number system. Now what is number? A mathematical object uh, that can be used uh, to count, measure or label anything is called number. Now <coughs> if I say how many fingers I have? So you can say four fingers are there. Now this is a counting. So to count anything, we need a number. So the number defines uh, that are counting digits. Okay. Now <coughs> what is real number? Real number can be represented uh, on the number line, or either you can say number any number on number line is a real number. So you are well aware of number line. That is, it has it, it can consist of zero at middle and on right hand side. Uh, 1 2 3 in plus and on left hand side 1 2 3 in minus so on the right hand side of the zero are the positive part and left hand side of the zeros are negative part now the real numbers can be divided into two part with decimal point and without decimal point now first of all talk about a without decimal point now without decimal points are also called as integer now they have they are 0 plus plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 or minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so now this plus part plus number number is in positive is called positive integer number 0 is called 0 integer number and number having negative sign are called negative integers understood friend now come to this part uh, with with a decimal point with a decimal point there are three three parts okay first we are talking about terminating what is mean by terminating if after decimal point uh, numbers are limited fixed numbers are there fixed decimal places are there so you can say it is a terminating take an example let's say 3 by 2 so we have to divide 3 by 2 so 1 jar that is 2 1.05 10 so we are terminated here so our answer is 1.5 so 1.5 is a terminating decimal but if you divide 2 by 3 so 2 divided by 3 so you use 0 point and 0 6 are 18 again to 0 6 are 18 again to so this will goes on and on it will never end so this is called non terminating so this is the difference between terminating and non terminating decimal now come here terminating and non terminating point so the terminating we have already learned now come to this part of non terminating non terminating can have two part that is repeating or non repeating that you can also can call it as a re recurring number or non recurring number so if recurring number means after decimal the numbers are repeated the sequence of numbers are repeated but in non repeating decimal number the numbers sequence are not repeated number can be repeated that is you can see 7 here and 7 here this is the whole the whole number is 3.57890174789 so on so it is not ending so it is a non terminating number but there is no sequence after decimal the numbers do not have any sequence so this is called non repeating number uh, non terminating or non repeating number they are also root 2 root 3 these are the examples of this because if you divide if you find out the value of root 2 so 1.41 something will you will have and after decimal there is no sequence same way for root 3 also but if you talk about this root 4 so root 4 is having answer 2 now 2 is of a integer and integer are real number understood friend ok so root 2 and root 3 we are not having answer perfect answer but for root 2 root 4 we are having answer this part repeating uh, non terminating but repeating decimal terminating decimal and integer numbers all these three part constitute a rational number that means uh, this root 4 is a rational number but if we are talking about this part this is called irrational number that is non repeating non uh, terminating decimal so this is called irrational number that means uh, root 2 and root 3 are non uh, irrational number 
Now, as per the textual definition, rational numbers are numbers that can be represented in the form of p by q, where both p and q are integer. But q should not be zero. Always remember, friend, q should not be zero. Here, p is the numerator and q is the denominator. Means in denominator, the value must not be zero. For example, if I say five. So you can write 5 equal to uh, 1 upon uh, 5 upon 1 because there is 1 below in denominator uh, of all the numbers. So here p is 5 and q is 1. That means numerator is 5 and denominator is 1. So this is a rational number. But if I say 5 by 0, then we will not have the answer that is infinite. So it is not possible because we are not able to divide 5 by 0. Understood, friend? 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, so on. So it is not possible. So it is a irrational number. <coughs> if we say about a 2 by 3, so we have taken an example earlier also. So 1.5 is the answer that is terminating decimal. It is rational number. 2 by 3 is also a rational number because its answer is a 0 0.6666. 6 is repeated. So this is, this is, and this is. These three are rational number except the second one. Now, as per this definition, can you say 0 is rational number? Let's find it out. We can write a 0 equal to 0 upon 1 because 1 is there in denominator of all the numbers. So, here numerator is p and denominator is q. See, there is a condition for denominator. q should not be 0. There is no condition for a p for numerator. Numerator can be any number, 0 or either any number. But q must not be 0. Here, as per the uh, condition here, we are having q equal to 1. So you can say 0 is a rational number. Okay, friend? Now, real number. Real number, uh, it is the sort of the whole explanation. What is real and what is a... <coughs> real numbers are bifurcated into two parts. That is rational number and irrational number. Rational numbers are of three kind. These three kind of numbers uh, you can tell say as a rational number only the non-repeating non-repeating and non-terminating non-terminating numbers are irrational numbers. So, integer number, natural number and whole number, all these three part, uh, type of numbers are rational number. We are also having symbol for that, uh, that is rational number is for, symbol is a uh, Q. For uh, integer, it is uh, either I or Z you can say. For natural number, it is N and for whole number, it is W. You are well aware of natural number that is counting number from 1 to infinite in positive, in, uh, positive sign. And whole number consists of 0. And integer number consists of all of them that is negative, 0 and positive numbers. 